Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Game Week uh, 26, uh, 27 sorry, in FPL while also covering uh, how Game Week 26 went for me. It was a, a bit of an annoying one. I got 81 points despite using my triple captain. Average was 84. Um, <clears throat> I got messed up a little bit with um, some uh, starting lineups. For example, Alexander Arnold missed one, which I wasn't expecting. Then other players uh, didn't play like full games. Like I think it's Eduard or something. Yeah, he only played literally or well, constantly just one minute. He didn't play anything in the first game. Stuff like that messed me up. Uh, Creswell did a little bit better than I thought. He was on the bench. So had I've had him on instead of Gabriel or Dyer, I would have been above average, and it might have been a little bit different. But yeah, I did take some red arrows. Uh, it's put me back about three game weeks worth of uh, work. But yeah. Uh, it's been mostly green hours for a while, so you could say I was overdue for a bit of bad luck. Right, <clears throat> game week 27 is a bit of a pain, because there's some teams which are not playing. So I'm just going to quickly swap around play uh, well, swap around where no uh, playing. Um, and that gives me this. I'm just going to quickly save that. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do a substitution. I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to move on Gabriel a week earlier than, than first planned and um, just for one week only I'm going to bring in Diaz and go with double uh, Manchester City defence uh, again it is risky but uh, I think you know we, we could get some it here um, I want to bring him on um, but you can see possibly Dennis Gensoff against United because the defence has not been the best, except for obviously the keeper. He's been decent. You could see goals in all of these games, really. Um, I don't actually know. Maybe I might just keep him on the bench. And um, if he doesn't get used fair enough. Hmm. I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure. What have you been like lately? So you've been blanking a lot. Do you know what? We'll take the risk. We'll swap these two round. We'll go for a full 3 3 formation. <coughs> I, I think it's worth a, a hit. I brought him in for one game week, so we might as well use him. As for captain choice, I was thinking between Son and Cancelo. Uh, Cancelo, obviously, City's playing Everton away. And uh, Everton's not been doing very well at all this season. But then again, um, City's defence has not been the best really um, overall. So you never know. Might be, might risk not putting, might be uh, the wrong move not putting Cancelo's captain, we'll find out. But Son has been ticking over all season. Um, I think he's like you've, you've the, the third like um, highest scored midfield or something like that. Yeah, he's third. <clears throat> so he's playing... Um, Leads and they've still got some key players missing, like there's no Bamford, for example. Still, there's a few others missing, so you could see Son getting points as well. I think it's risky, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be my game, that's gonna be my squad for game week 27. Uh, the deadline is at uh, half past six this evening. Um, I'm hoping to make some uh, ground up from these uh, red arrows. And looking in here, I've well and truly fell behind. Um, Steve Woods after that, uh, but I'm still ahead of uh, Nathan, Nathan who took a minus 12, so he's not caught up as much as uh, you'd have expected. But yeah, we're going to we're going to need a little bit of luck, I think. But um, do you know what? Let's just take it because I bet there'll be some people taking more hits this week due to um, some players not well, some teams not playing. And there'll be some people using their free hits and that sort of things if they've got them. But yeah, we'll stick with this now. Um, I, I'm going to move Diaz on next game week for uh, Thiago Silva from uh, Chelsea. Because um, when you look at their... Um, oh, not Crystal Palace, Chelsea. So when you look at their upcoming fixtures after this game week, it's Burnley, Newcastle, Norwich, Brentford, Southampton, Leeds... That's all a good run, and they still got uh, a game against Arsenal, a game against Leicester City to get rearranged as well. Uh, so 
there must be uh, double game weeks for Chelsea to come up as well so long term pick I think Thiago Silva will be a very good move right then finishing this video here thank you very much to everyone who's tuned in hit that like button if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button hit the bell if you are new to this channel and uh, we'll see you at the end of this game week which finishes uh, on Tuesday the 1st of March with Burnley against Leicester City if that was a smart move or not we'll see thanks very much guys and see you in a bit